everybody, we're back. Ladies and gentlemen, my uh, next guest tonight will be performing at Carnegie Hall tomorrow, right here in New York. But if you can't get there, you can check out her new movie, A Weekend in the Country on the USA Network. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Rita Rodner. Thanks so much for coming. I'm really, really cold. You're cold? I know. It's very, uh, people can't tell on, uh... It's so cold. I know. On, and people watching on TV should don't not, know. Should I not mention it's cold? No, then? that's okay. okay people please. mention uh, many of the drawbacks on the air of this show. Okay. Uh, but it's freezing in here right now. I know. What is the stand for in case someone's not cold enough? <laughs> the fan, yeah. Like you need to, like a tundra blowing through here. <laughs> exactly. But I think this is like a general problem, that women are cold and men are hot. Because, it, isn't it? Well, they did they, don't look at me like that. I didn't know. I, I didn't know that there was, I mean, well, I've never... Maybe then it's just my husband, because he's always hot and I'm always cold. So we test drove one of those cars, because they have the new dual climate control cars. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so um, I turned my side up to 80, mm -hmm. and he turned his side down to 30. Wow. Yes, halfway around the block, clouds began to form. <laughs> <laughs> was anyone killed? No, I hope not. All right. I, thanks for uh, coming on the show. Uh, are they on straight? You never know. Oh, these. Uh, yeah, these yeah. are fine. Yeah. <laughs> these are I great. was considering implants, because then you don't have to do this. But <laughs> do they I have shoulder to... implants, really? I made, I made them up. No, but it would be a great idea. We had, uh, well, I can't mention that. <laughs> telling tales on another celebrity. <laughs> I couldn't mention that. Somebody has shoulder implants? Well, we, you know, come on. David Copperfield was on the show once. <laughs> I can try. What? He was okay. on the show once, and this guy wears shoulder pads underneath the... You're all just oh. so jealous of Claudia Schiffer, you can't stand it. <laughs> okay, that's it. <laughs> I just... Should I not have said that? That's a terrible thing to do. I didn't know... I, I didn't know what you were talking about for a second, but, yeah, he does wear shoulder yeah, pads. Yeah, so thanks. Thanks for sharing the blame. All right, cool. He, he wears shoulder pads. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's true. Thanks. Are you, uh... He's an ugly brunette. <laughs> <laughs> no, not brunette. really. Yeah. But, uh, you know, thanks for doing the show and for it. Is it nice for you to come back to New York City? Yeah. Thank you. I, I lived here for many years, and it's always a treat to come back and visit the different places I was mugged. And, <laughs> really? Uh, kind of check them out. <laughs> yes. I, uh, I, I moved here when I was really young, I was 15, and my parents, they did buy me a dog for protection because mm -hmm. I lived alone, so um, they bought me a Lhasa Opso. I guess they thought my ankles were in danger. <laughs> Do you know uh -huh. what a Lhasa Apso is? It's one of those really tiny, like, little, little yes. furball kind of thing. It's a really small dog, and it's, it's hairy. Mm -hmm. And it's hard to tell which end was which. I was very upset when I found it. I'd been trying to teach her to sit by shoving her head to the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't work out, huh? No. <laughs> she was very nervous, too, and that was my fault. Also. Oh, why? Well, when she was a puppy, I left her alone with a clock wrapped up in a blanket because you're supposed to do that. They think it's your mother's heartbeat. Mm -hmm. I'd forgotten I'd set the alarm. <laughs> Every time uh -huh. my phone rang, I had to scrape her off the seat. <laughs> I oh. figured this was right in line with your Snoopy death joke. Yes, yes, yes. Those wasn't a joke. We really turned that thing around. You could torture animals, but... And you, in your cat joke, it's, it's a kind theme of a show. theme night. It is a theme yeah. tonight. That's what this show's always going for, a theme that America can embrace. All right, moving on. Uh, before, actually, it's interesting, I did not know this, but before you got into comedy, you were a dancer. I didn't I know that. I was. I danced on Broadway for many years. And, you know, I, I just, I really like the audience, and I really like, you know, I'm feeling comfortable. And I don't do this, but it's after midnight, and mm -hmm. I, I really want to kick. You want to kick? Yeah. Hey, go crazy. I'm sure everyone here would embrace. Yeah, you can I was, kick. I was go ahead. Why not? I've never kicked before. <laughs> I've never kicked before, but this is from my, my former dancing days. You ready for the kick? Okay. Wow! That was impressive. Your, your leg, your leg touched your face. I had many an injury. <laughs> and probably I injured dentist. a lot of other people, too, I would imagine. No. Yes, I, the Dennis Rodman uh, headbutting, I did it with my leg. Oh, yeah. man. Myself, yeah. You hurt yourself very severely. But We're... I was, I was a dancer, and um, I did lots of Broadway shows. Mm -hmm. And, it, like, I did six Broadway shows. Mm -hmm. Want to know what they were? Sure. Okay, because I can name them really quickly. It won't take much time. Promises, Promises, um, Follies, Mac and Mabel, So Long 174th Street, The Magic Show, and Annie. Oh. Those were my six shows, oh. and oh, I didn't. 
That's a lot of shows. Yeah. But between those shows, because I did that, I was on Broadway 10 years, and there were six shows, you do other things. So I did commercials and industrial shows. Right. Industrial shows are sort of industry shows. Yes. Yeah. They, like, where you have to sing and dance and kick for, like, a product. Do you remember any of the products you had to do? I did. I sang about cheese and clocks, <laughs> really. Uh -huh. there's, there's one that doesn't leave me, because when I walk past, um, like, 55th and Broadway, the Minsk Golf, I did this whole big show for um, for Lincoln Continental, and it, it haunts me. It went. Can we hear it? Oh, yeah. Yes. The Continental, the Comet, and the New Marquis, the Mid-Size Montego, and the Sexy Capri, and then there's the Cougar and the Great Mark III, more kinds of cars for more kinds of people. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, it doesn't rhyme in the end. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't write it. Uh, no, no, it's not you. You sang, you sang it beautifully, I just Are thought. Are you doubting it? No, and, no, I'm not doubting it. And I did commercials. I, at one time, I had... Uh, three simultaneously running. I announced to the country that I had bad breath <laughs> and dandruff and problem perspiration. Wow. People would recognize me on the street. They'd try to hose me down. <laughs> well, let me make sure I mention because we're just about out of time, but A Weekend in the Country is... Yes, uh, it's a movie. It's a new movie on USA Network. That you uh, wrote with your husband. Nine o'clock. We wrote it. It's a romantic comedy set in wine country. Great cast. We've got Jack Lemmon, Dudley Moore. It's an amazing cast. Richard Lewis, Christine Lottie, Faith Ford. And I think I'm in it, too. <laughs> you are. I yeah, checked into that. Okay. Plus, uh, you have uh, the Carnegie Hall appearance with Don Rickles, Mr. Warmth, yes, tomorrow night, him. as he's known. Yes. All right. So people should check that out. I, Our, wanted, I wanted to kick again. Kick one more time? Kick, kick on again. the way out. Thank you very okay. much. We'll be right back with Sonny Burgess, Rosie Flores Combo, Stick around. Rita Rudner, everybody. Burgess is a rockabilly pioneer who recorded on Sun Records in the 50s, and he's currently touring with the rockabilly filly, Rosie Flores. Please welcome the Sonny Burgess and Rosie Flores combo. That was great. That was fantastic. Thank you, sir. The Sonny Burgess and Rosie Flores combo, everybody. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. That's our show for the night, everybody. I want to thank all my guests. Good night. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.